Okay, so um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create um, vector mountains in Illustrator. Um, so first things first, obviously you have to create a document. And I just made a fairly simple letter size document where um, I can just, in uh, portrait orientation or landscape, doesn't matter, you can do whatever. But for this example, we'll just do portrait. Um, so first things first is that you're going to want to select the rectangular tool. Um, and let me just make sure that the fill is just just normal. Um, so what you can do is that you can just start at, um, just fill up the whole page with this rectangle. And this is going to act as our background for the mountain. So then we're going to have to go into our gradient tool. And that will create this gradient here. Obviously, we don't want it to be white to black. We want to add a bit more color into this. So what we're going to have to do is that if we go into a gradient tool, it'll bring up this little bar. And if we drag this bar from top to bottom, it's gonna invert that, which we don't want. <laughs> so actually we're gonna start from going from top to bottom. So then that'll have like a nice gradient for us, like so. And then here, we're gonna obviously change the color here. So for this example, we'll just go a nice, mm, nice yellow here. Uh, let's make it just a bit lighter so it's not as, as strong. Yellow is a very strong color, but so is red. But just for this sake, just to balance it a bit, we'll do this. So once you're happy with your gradient, and let's just make sure that the fill is trans uh, stroke is transparent. Um, what we're going to do next is that we're going to draw in a mountain. So what we're going to uh, need to use is, um, excuse me, uh, the pen tool. So by using the pen tool, we'll just zoom in a bit here. And we are going to just draw in a mountainy kind of shape. You know, just you can try to follow along with me as best as you can. Although you can make your own shape, doesn't matter. Just go down here to each bottom corner. And then we're gonna have to finish up the tool here. So just make sure that um, you can see the closed end, so if it's like this, you don't see it, go to your beginning anchor to close the shape. And what we're going to do is that uh, for the fill, go to swatches here. Let's make it, uh, that's nice, nice brown color. Nice brown color, looks good. Uh, yeah, it looks good. And make sure that your stroke is transparent. So then if you're happy with that, oh, we don't want to do that. Uh, what you're going to do is that you're going to select everything here. And you'll go Control-2 to lock the background here. Or simply, you can just go into your Layers palette. And as you can see, they're both locked. Now, what we're going to do next is that we're going to add highlights to this mountain. Because as, as of now, this mountain is very flat. It doesn't look very three-dimensional, does it? So to make it pop a bit more, we're going to add some highlights. And once again, we're going to be using the pen tool. So if we zoom in here, now that we have locked our background, we can't interact with the uh, anchors uh, on the mountain here. So that just makes it easier for us so that they don't keep on uh, sticking to here, right? So we can be, we can choose to freely move wherever we want. So uh, let's start here. So if we start on this left side here, just create a general shape so it's like so looks like a pair of pants yeah, I could just ignore that awesome so then if we want to go into our gradient tool uh, so first things first is that we have to change the colors here because it still thinks it's the background so we're going to take this first color at the top here and we're going to make it white and then we're going to take our second color and we're going to make it the same color as the background, or sorry, rather the, the mountain. So whatever color you chose for the mountain, and for example, this brown, we're going to make uh, the, uh, the bottom portion the brown. And I'll 
explain why this is important uh, in a moment. So that if we go to edit gradient, it once again brings up our little uh, auto line so we can adjust how we want our gradient to look. And so following along the line here, so like following the straight lines along the mountain will make the gradient look a lot better rather than being uh, like before where it kind of looks jank. So if we do this, it brings a nice gradient. So once you're happy with that color, you can see that it looks a bit off. So we want to just, yeah, like so. And it just makes it look nice and tidy. And we can keep on doing this with the pen tool. So if we come up to the crest here, so. It saved uh, the angle of the gradient that we had prior to. So, um, as long as you don't touch the uh, adjust gradient tool when you're making a new shape, it won't uh, mess around with uh, the angle of your gradient. So, it'll keep it all very nice and uniform. So, then if we are to go like so. another grid look but just as an example we'll add one more highlight just right here uh, like so wonderful and you can move it around widen it tighten it rotate it to follow the lines to however you like it and uh, there you go you got a very simple yet very effective um, mountain shape like it's I mean it's really easy to clean up and everything and you can obviously change the background once you um, unlock everything if we do that just really quickly here so like so yeah we can like change the gradient if you want to um, we can make this like a nice deep purple thing oh that's really nice yeah just like so so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have fun with this. This is um, yeah, it's it's quick but very fun to do.